Hey guys, welcome to the Bearded Woodworker. Today we're going to do something a little different. We're in Maine visiting my mother and we are down in Dave's shop. Mom's up there, the Bible study, and she wants a doll cradle. And this is uh, woodcraftplans.com. We're going to attempt to build that. Stick around. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to uh, cut these patterns out <coughs> here. And this is specifically designed for a 1 by 12 <coughs> by 8 foot board. <coughs> Excuse me. So we can lay all the patterns out right here on one board. And going to take a while. Be right back. So now let's get our wood. This is a 8 foot 1 by 12. Yep. Alright, so on the plans it even tells you where to lay out your pattern. So you're not wasting any of this board. This whole cradle is going to be made out of this one piece of board. So we got our A. It says times two here. You see that pattern? It says A there. We're going to trace it down there twice. We got Dave assisting here. <laughs> His shop, we appreciate him letting us borrow it. My mother was going to do this on her own somehow, and we don't know how. All right, you can see we got it laid out here, traced out on the board, just like it says here on the pattern. Two rockers. Well, not exactly. We kind of. I did the straight edge here. See if that works. The bottom, headboard, footboard, side cradles. All right, now we're over at the uh, sliding compound miter saw. I'm going to just cut each one of these sections out to make it easier. Take our jigsaw and we'll cut all the corners, the curves, such like that. Here we go. Oh, Dave's got fancy vacuum stuff. I don't have that. So now that we got the pieces cut, uh, the next move is to take our jigsaw and cut these cores, curves. Uh, I'm going to cheat a little bit here and I'm going to use a, it looks like a three quarter inch Forstner bit. We're going to cut that hole out so we don't have to take the jigsaw. Let's do that next.
button. You push the red button. I yes, action it. Yeah. Now it says here we're going to cut a 10 degree bevel because the uh, angle of this apparently is 10 degrees. So when it sits down flat, we want that to line up with it. This is the piece we want. So we're going to cut a 10 degree bevel on the bottom. Here we go. So I cut the 10 degree bevel before we went ahead and cut all this stuff out, making it easier. Now the saw is set up to cut my second 10 degree bevel in the other piece. Right. Getting sawdust on my new tattoo. It's a week old, look, it's peeling. I don't know if you can see that in the light. So now we're gonna take our uh, jigsaw. Let's gonna call it a scroll saw. Cut around these curves. I'm gonna leave a little bit of the line on the drawing. The drawing. I'm gonna leave a little pencil mark on the pattern, and we'll uh, use the sander to get down to the pencil line. Does that make any sense? Here we go. <laughs> You don't need to see me cut all this. We'll be back. Now we're going to put a nice decorative bevel on it. <laughs> Here we go. We're going to assemble everything, but first, muffin time. Your muffin.
Now we're ready. If you have uh, helping hands, this will probably be the time to ask for help. We're now going to glue and uh, tack it with some brads. And then after we're done with that, we're going to add some screws. Make sure everything holds in place. The plans say to use uh, a dowels and doweling jig, but I just didn't want to. I didn't want to do that. I don't think it needed it. But we're only using screws because we've got some warpage in our wood, and we're hoping the screws will kind of bring everything together. All right, let's do this. All right, we're gonna glue the bottom. We're gonna clamp it in place, put a couple of tacks, straighten it out, and then we're gonna screw it. Come out. Good so far. If we can, <clears throat> now we got to square it up. All right, Alex, try not to screw it up. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Push, there you go. Yep. You got to put a lot of pressure behind that. You don't want that noise. Good. Uh, hold it in place with a couple of brads. We're gonna put some longer screws in. Now we sand it, and then fill the holes. Maybe stain it, paint it. I don't know. We gotta go soon, I'm sure. All right, now we're gonna take some sustainable wood filler, putty, and fill up these holes. We're gonna let it dry probably overnight. We'll come back, stain it, sand it, and then we'll stain it. I went ahead and got a stain and poly mixed together. I'm not sure if I'm gonna like it, but uh, I'll try it. So this is uh, whatever the hardware store had. Pro Bond wood filler. Professional strength. Oh, of course. It's the next day. We didn't have to wait that long, but we don't. We're not staying here. We're gonna sand down this putty here, 
looks like we've got probably 80 grit on this and then we're going to go over it again with 220 on the nice DeWalt right here. Quick, easy. <laughs> I've never used this yet. Just bought a cheap chip brush and we're gonna see how it goes. Might not like it at all. Might like it a lot. I can already tell I'm not gonna like this. You can't wipe it off. You just put it on and that's it, huh? All right. All right, <clears throat> we'll continue, and I will be back as soon as it's done. So this is the completed project. Um, we still need to lightly sand it and add a second coat. All right, so uh, quite honestly, I'm not really happy with the stain and clear coat combination. If I had my opportunity to do this again, I would not use that. I much prefer a stain and spray a clear coat on it. But I think it turned out nice. We are, like Alex said, my helper, my, my son. Uh, we're gonna slightly sand and put a second coat. So I'll have the link down in the description below where those plans are if you want to make uh, one of these for uh, your dolls or whatever, maybe your dog or cat or something. That could be kind of funny. <laughs> Anyways, Alexander, thank you for helping me. Thank you for watching. Please hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. No thumbs down. We don't need any of that. Thank you. Reeded Woodworker. Out.